Hi, in this video I will provide you with an overview of the action plan that you'll be working on over the next several months. The action plan is the capstone project for the certificate in OER librarianship course. There are seven required elements for your action plan. Part one is the executive summary. While this is first in your action plan, you'll actually write this last. The executive summary is a concise overview of your action plan intended to grab your reader's attention, highlighting the key points and describing your recommendations, all in about 750 words or less. If you have any local data to highlight, include that data here. Your executive summary might be the only part of your action plan that a busy administrator reads, so it should be persuasive and include the critical information they need to decide a course of action. Part two of the plan are your SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. You might find it useful to have short-term and long-term goals. Writing SMART goals for each major part of your plan will ensure that you're thinking strategically and realistically about how to implement your action plan. As an example, in the activities for modules one and three, any training or resources that you identified as lacking at your institution might be included as SMART goals. Part three is your program timeline. The timeline provides a concrete roadmap for your administrator. Once you've written your SMART goals, you can start to map out a programmatic timeline. A three-year timeline is recommended, but not required. If your library has a five-year strategic plan, you might want to align your timeline with that. Mapping out a timeline provides you with a guide for what you need to do and in which order. Part four will describe your budget and resources. What is your current funding model and what resources do you have? What kind of funding is needed to advance your initiative and to make it sustainable? If you have no budget or are looking for a new funding model, this part of your action plan can be used to propose a budget or plan. This is where you include your must-have items for your program. Part 5 relates to outreach and communication. A central component of this will be the different OER pitch statements for key audiences which you've already worked on in the Canvas course. We recommend a template approach that will contain the same basic points for each audience, but then highlights OER benefits that would speak to that particular stakeholder. Part six is the evaluation and assessment plan, plan for your program. What would a successful OER program look like? How would you calculate the impact of your initiative and what specific metrics can you use? How will you collect that information? Do you plan to use surveys? This section will describe your approach. In part seven, you will identify your program strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats through a SWOT analysis. Since you completed this in module five, you can cross this off your list of things to do. These seven parts, while required elements, can be arranged in a different order to meet your institution's needs. The action plan is customizable for your institution and its unique circumstances. You can also include optional elements in your plan. These could include a training program plan, survey questions for faculty and students, a faculty champion cultivation plan, ideas for incentives or re rewards, or marketing materials like handouts and brochures. The readings, discussions, and activities you have been doing so far have set the stage for building out your action plan. In module one, the discussion was around your institution and its unique aspects, challenges, and opportunities. The activity related to the kinds of training and resources that are needed. 
In Module 2, the discussion related to OER pitches to your three stakeholder groups, faculty, students, and administration. The activity aligned OER benefits with your institutional strategic plan, mission, or values. In Module 3, the discussion revolved around OER searching and thinking about what kinds of resources you might want to feature for your faculty. The activity related to resources and services, what you have and what needs to be developed. Module 4, the discussion was around successful strategies used at other institutions, and the activity was revising an OER pitch for one of your key audiences. And finally, in Module 5, you met with leadership and you did your SWOT analysis. Over the next several months, we'll help you further develop your action plan scaffolding with resources and information from asynchronous monthly videos, optional asynchronous Zoom sessions, and monthly cohort meetings. Moving forward, there are videos coming up monthly through September that will guide you step-by-step -step in building the action plan. See the Canvas course for video links and links to a pre-formatted action plan template. Previous Certificate in OER Librarianship participants have kindly shared their action plans. Links to three complete plans are available in the action plan template. Specific examples for each action plan element are featured within the non-editable template. The rubric your instructor will use to assess your action plan is included in the template as well as in the Canvas course under Action Plan. This is the plan for what to expect over the next several months. We'll be learning through the monthly asynchronous videos about action plan elements 2 through 6. There will be optional monthly synchronous sessions on a variety of special topics. These synchronous sessions will be recorded in case you can't attend them live. The monthly cohort sessions will be based on the required asynchronous videos. You'll use the template to build out your action plan. As a renewable assignment, you are invited to share all or parts of your action plan with the CC BY license. This sharing is recommended, but not required. There's an editable action plan that will be shared publicly. If there is proprietary information that you want to keep private, you can remove those elements before contributing to this, to this template. More information about this is in your syllabus. Finally, you will upload your final action plan to Canvas. Before you submit your plan, there will be feedback opportunities. If you want feedback from your cohort, please upload a copy to Canvas by the deadline in your syllabus. This peer feedback is optional. Submit the final version of your action plan to Canvas by the stated deadline. Allow two to three weeks for your instructor to provide feedback on your action plan. Finally, don't forget to send a copy of your action plan to your dean, director, or supervisor. Then schedule a, a meeting with them while your plan is uh, fresh in your mind. This concludes the action plan overview video. If you have any questions, ask your instructor. You can also post questions to the all cohorts discussion in Canvas. Thanks for listening and good luck with your action plan.